Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel Alexis Garden. How are you doing? I hope all is well. I want to ask, do you like Fritillaria? In this video, I will show you how to grow Fritillaria in my garden. Fritillaria, Fritillaries, is a genus of spring-flowering herbaceous bulbous perennial plants in the lily family, Liliaceae. This is a perennial plant that has unusual flowers and a very long peduncle. Gardeners received Fritillaria from Asia, where the flower can be found in the mountains of Iran and Afghanistan, in the eastern Himalayas. Fritillaria is a bulbous plant that is planted in flower beds in autumn, just like tulips. The height of an adult plant can reach 60 inches or 150 centimeters. Flower buds resemble a lamp. I have three reasons to grow Fritillaria. This flower combines beautiful color, shape, and resistance to plant diseases. Ease of maintenance. No spraying or fussy pruning required. Long-lasting early flowering. Flowers are present from early spring to late May. What are the needs of these plants? The main requirement for light, Fritillaria needs sun or open work partial shade. Fritillaria is a plant that prefers a sunny, well-ventilated place in the garden where they grow well. The category of care and maintenance is light. I plant Fritillaria in the background of the flower bed so that they can be a backdrop for other lower plants. This flower grows in one place for three to four years and does not require a transplant. Where does Fritillaria grow best? Plant the bulbs in flower beds and borders, rock gardens, woodland gardens, and damp, grassy meadows. Snake's Head Fritillaria prefers growing in dappled shade, though they will also grow quite well in full sun. Fritillaria prefers acidic or neutral soils, loose and well ventilated. Fritillaria Planting and Care The plant is frost-resistant and, with proper agricultural technology, adult bulbs rarely freeze out, but in winters with little snow, they need to be covered. Use reeds, straw, and spruce branches, reeds, not humus or peat for shelter. In early spring, the shelter of Fritillaria bulbs must be removed. Young shoots of the plant perfectly tolerate spring frosts. Loosening the soil around the plant is dangerous because the roots often rise to the surface. Where is the best place to plant Fritillaria? Find a warm, semi-shady spot in your garden. Fritillaria prefers acidic or neutral soils, loose and well-ventilated. Fritillaria usually has red-orange flowers, but some new varieties of the plant may have purple, yellow and white flowers. Are Fritillaries easy to grow? Fritillaria may look exotic, but they are easy to grow and fully hardy. Fritillaria miliagris grows to around 30 cms, 12 inch, quite small and dainty whereas the imperialis grows much taller, up to 1.5 meters, 5 feet. 
It is a robust plant with large showy flowers, a statuesque plant that makes a bold statement. When should Fritillaria bulbs be planted? They should be planted in late summer or early autumn, to allow rooting to start before the soil cools. Higher rainfall in the spring will encourage them rather than years of winter drought. After flowering, use superphosphate and potassium sulfate to fertilize the plant. Follow the directions on the package. I dig up fritillaria bulbs in July as soon as the stems begin to dry out. The bulbs should be dried and treated with a solution of potassium permanganate. Then I place the bulbs in a dark, dry, well-ventilated place. Fritillaria bulbs are best stored in a layer of dry peat. In August, fritillaria bulbs begin to grow roots. Each large bulb of this plant can form two sprouts. Next year, you will get two bulbs and two flower stalks. Almost every year, two bulbs can be obtained from one fritillaria bulb. I replant fritillaria in late September, early October, in the fall. I hope this video was useful and interesting for you. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video, click on like to support the channel. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you soon.